Hello everybody, it is I, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to the adventures of Horse Baby Boy, HBB in the house of the Dictopolis family of the Carpathian Empire. If you look down here, we have so many wars. We have five different wars going on. People invading. The only one I'm worried about right now is um, the one against the Bulgarian king right here as we're trying to take uh, Nicopolis. Nicopolis. Uh, yeah, something like that. Whatever. We're about to finish sieging. What are we sieging? The city here of Driz Dro Drop Poops. And we're trying to get to 500 gold so that we can get um, Emperor Horse Baby Boy to accomplish his lifelong goal of amassing wealth. He wants 500 gold pieces so he can be like Scrooge McDuck and uh, swim around in the gold. That and since most of his kingdom oh, empire ship has been being poor, he wants to not be poor anymore. In fact, eventually we want to take these three areas, maybe four, and really start some self-development. All right, so we have, as you can see, the center thing there means it's occupied. That's our emblem, the candy cane stripe banner, because it's always Christmas in our country. So we're going to march our retinue around while we're at it. Let's look at the war score against the Bulgarians. All in our favor, 65% in our favor. That is awesome, Saws. So many wars going on. <laughs> Uh, it's like the peace bef I say the peace, the quiet before the storm, but we're actually in the middle of the storm. This guy's horse baby boy's tenure, his his kingdom ship, uh, the whole thing has been nothing but war. You've seen episodes where I'm like, we're done with the wars. Next episode, here's some new wars. It never stops. Oh, where did we lose? Where was that defeat? At the bottom of my legs? Who the hell is that? Oh, that's Bertold's host or something? One of the magic armies from Landless Adventures? You can tell by my reaction there how I feel about that game mechanic. Uh, I want to pull a 10,000 man army out of my ass. No, wait, I don't want 10,000 men in my ass. What am I saying? You're like, yes you do, Super Paul. Are you a ghost? All you damn ghosts watching? Are you George Washington's ghost children? That's why you can hear the music go, oh. <laughs> I should probably go find that army again. Alright, where is our army? Oh, we are fighting battles on battles on battle on Xeno warrior princess. We broke both of their flanks. Suck it, Bulgarians! Victory. What is the war score going to be? The war score is sigh. When I introduced my friend, this is horse baby boy talking. When I introduced my friend Dragoman, I had high hopes. My friend to Dragoman, I had hopes they'd become fast friends and we could all be friends together. Unfortunately, Dragoman didn't like my friend. So the emperor here is like, hey, Birdland, I got this cool friend who's like a dragon, dragon man, and they're going to be friends. I don't care. Like, really. All right, we're at 77% war score. Kicking the crap out of the Bulgarians. I like that. Even more pre peasants have risen up in the memo. Uh, one of the many revolts going on. I find them incredibly revolting, don't you? Oh yeah, there's a revolt here, and then there's a landless adventurer army here. I don't even know. How do they have that many armies in the north? Peasants, if you're going to work that hard to revolt, why don't you work that hard to fight raiders? Uh, here are the different rebellions in the east. Uh, this is a peasant revolt. This is a religious revolt of Tangray heretics. When we look at the religion map, look at all the blue. Not old Tangri, but all these new Tangri places. It's the newfangled religion. Everybody is doing the Goose God. That sounds wrong. I guess we're going to just lay siege to this. We're going to get ticking war score anyway because we occupied Nicopolis, which we're trying to take. 
Princess Borislav of Carpathia's of legal age. She became a mastermind theologian. That really, really fits with our family, actually. Well, why don't we just go attack this army? It'll, it'll make us feel good, you know? It gets you excited, all that war. You'd be like, what is it good for? Absolutely everything. If we want to expand our empire, say it again. Prepare for the murdering to commence. That's Vasily's silly speech. Vasily's in charge of the uh, right, right flank there, I think. No, left flank, apparently. Oh, right away, we just destroyed these guys. Their morale wasn't up. They weren't ready to go on the other side, and we are just butchering them. Come on, get us to 95% war score. I like that. We're going to come across here. Apparently, they're going to try to send an army to free some of their land. Not going to happen, son. We want Nicopolis. And then we might declare war against the rebels to try and take that. That's iffy, though. So many wars. Why don't we take a look around? See how the Holy Roman Empire is doing. Uh, they're doing all right, I guess. He hates us. Kaiser Carl III, but he's very peaceful. He's not at war with anyone. What about the leader of France? King Richard of France? He has a truce with somebody. Look at how peaceful they are. What about the King of Aquitaine? He is defending against Duke Garcia of Granada in the Holy War for Mercia and one for Valencia. Man, look at that right here. The Jorvix. Got out of my face. The Jorvix. Continuing to take advantage of um, Scotland's civil war. Who owns this here? Is that part of Scotland? No, you're independent. My liege, my visit to Constantinople has so far been a success. I have made the emperor of the Byzantine Empire love you for many... He loves you much. He'll love you a long time. Oh my. Oh man, even France is getting down into Spain. Poor Muslim nation here, Anna Delusia. They're deluded yeah, that they can maintain that, apparently. The Abbasids look pretty solid. Ooh, there's a tiny rebellion here in the Byzantine Empire, right next to the capital. A revolt against the tyranny. Oh, that's not going to last long. The Emperor of the Byzantine Empire probably revoked this guy's title, or tried to, and he's like, no, rebellion. Oh, wait, what the hell is this? We are at 95% war score. Emperor Horace Baby Boy is the pious, has fulfilled the ambition to amass wealth. We got to 500 gold pieces. That is fantastico. Um, we're getting there slowly but surely. We're at 95, 97% war score. Obviously, I'm not worried too much about these other areas that are falling. It's like, I'm not going to send guys up there to fight against that giant army of landless adventurers. Here's Attila the Butts army. Forever he has been here in this territory, in Aral. He keeps wanting to go into Mengi Schlack. And then there's another rebel group here. This guy's trying to form an independent Turkestani kingdom in our territory. But the two different groups that are trying to attack us, they both are just kind of staying where they are. Like, one will try to move, and then the other one counters it, and they just end up not going anywhere. Which has actually helped our war score against both of them in the East. We are at 98% war score. All we have to do is really sit here and wait on the Bulgarian one. Let's see how the King of Bulgaria is doing. He's like, I am sad. He owes 350 bucks to Jewish moneylenders. He's at the Lover's Parks. He hates us. He's got about a thousand troops somewhere. That's the majority of them right there. And we'll look at the rebels. These are Bulgarian rebels. Bulgaria rebels. They have a little more troops. They're in the east occupying nothing, I guess. I don't know. Princess Alexandra of Carpathia is of legal age and became a mastermind theologian. Why don't we marry you off to someone? How about this dweeb? There you go, girl. Have fun. What I would love to do eventually, too, is if you see this empty block here, this kind of like metal and forest, 
That's a place you can upgrade with a new building. I believe I ex explained it before, but it's really expensive. Look at that, almost 830 bucks. To the most high emperor, oh, whatever. They're like, it's, we're very honored that you're going to marry your daughter to us. And Horse Baby Boy's like, get out of here. I'm busy. So we have vicious rumors someone is spreading about the emperor. I don't know what kind of jerk off would do that. Ooh, 100% war score. We're about to take up Kopolis before they can even um, try and take it back. You can see the Bulgarian army going to try and take it back. But what we are going to do is demand peace. Excellent! Emperor Horus Baby Boy, the pious, has usurped the county. We surfed it right up. I drink your county of Nicopolis. And we have won the war, so we'll bring our retinue back to our capital. We now own this. These Red Cross uh, swords, as I mentioned before, are new administration penalties. We have two of them. One lasts about a year. The other one lasts, like, I don't know how many years. 16 and those are really negative penalties but i think it's worth it because this is a really good territory um it has 13 for military advances 15 for economy um 15 for cultural and if we look at like up here most of these other areas we own are way smaller in fact bihar here we're gonna give this away you can see uh the king owns it um we're gonna replace that with nicopolis so we'll just give that to somebody it's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. Who wants Bahar Greens? So make sure we give it to someone from our clan, the Dick Clan. We have a son who doesn't have a territory. This is traditionally a bad idea, but fuck it. We're going to give it to... We have an unlanded son. Prince Dominique. Prince Dominic. Dominic, once upon a time I thought you were going to be king... Not gonna happen. You can have Bihar. Because our heir apparent right now is Prince Studleyson, who is four years old. Uh, we can hand out a minor title. We have a bunch we can hand out, actually. I should probably do that. Um, we can hand out Commander. We will give it to this guy, because he's got 22. Um, yeah. 22 military skill. I'm just like, he's got, he's ranked 22. All right, so let's go to opinion. These are the guys who hate us. Are any of them in prison? All right, this guy is neutral. Vasily the Silly. Let's see if we can give him an honorary title he would like. Um, let us give him Master of the Blade. He's like, honey, I'm Master of the Blade now. Well done. I'm used to going to stab some peasants to celebrate. He's very violent, he is. <laughs> All right, who else? I'm not going to worry about these mayors. Um, I guess I could. He's pretty close. What would it take to make him like me more? Yeah, I'm not going to give a mayor any of that. Oh, he's a different religion than us. That is problematic. Can I revoke your title? I can! Um, because he's a filthy orthodox and nobody's gonna give a crap. I doubt he's gonna raise an army to try and stop us. I don't even know where he is. Oh, right here, the territory we took over. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, we're gonna revoke your title, son. And we're gonna revoke this guy's title. Because we don't want an orthodox priest here. We want to convert this area to Tengrenism. And we can do that because he's a dirty, filthy orthodox. He's not a true Tengri person. He's like, oh no, it's my only job. Of course, the mayor accepts it. This dweeb, the old man bishop, is bound to accept it too. He has no army. So he has no real recourse. Alright, give me the territory back. We'll give um, this territory to a new mayor. Currently, we are occupying it. I hit the wrong button. I clicked on our shield. So we're going to give this this to just any new mayor. And, of course, we've given it to a good reformed Tangri man. That's the important thing. At some point, we should build a trade republic. We just don't have a lot of area that borders the ocean or the sea. 
All right, so we're waiting for this guy to go away. Oh, we did. Wait. Did he, he, oh, maybe he automatically got replaced when we got rid of him? Gold pours from my hands, but never finds its way back. The numbers and sums make no sense. Twirling numbers mocking me. That 69 mocked me every day. Appear before, or they, the, the mocking numbers appear every time I close my eyes. My wife, Nicolina, our former concubine, has offered to help me, but I have refused every time she brings it up. I think we're going to ask for her help. We're going to be like, you can help us, honey. Yes, she's like, you're not good with numbers. Uh, what's the bonus? We would get stewardship advice until March 1946. 1946, 1046. I was off by 900 years. Um, local tax modifier will go up by plus five. That's awesome. And we'll either gain um, stewardship or we'll gain content. Um, he's like, I'm perfectly happy with the way things are. I've gained the content trait. I don't know if that's good. That's probably not better than ambitious, because ambitious is a good trait. But, whatever. I, I, role playing, that works. That all this time we've been broke, and his wife's like, I can help. He's like, yes, please. Please help me. And we are... You know what? We should increase the retinue while we're at it. Let's see. What kind of expansions can we do for the retinue? You can see we have um, 7,860 retinue cap usage we're using. That's really small text. Out of 10,605 total, what do we need? Um, let's get some more heavy infantry. We're going to grab two of those. Because we're like at the store. I want some more cavalry. We don't really need probably any more after that. And we are at about at our max, aren't we? No, we could get more heavy infantry. There we go. Now we're at the max. That costs a bunch of money, and it's going to cost us a bunch of money to fill those units up. But we should have a pretty rockin' retinue at that point. It's rockin' retinue New Year's Eve, Dick Topolis Clark. <laughs> nice, save me. Oh, wait, we have wars going on in other places. <laughs> uh, that's revolt in the east. The Fratellici Heresy has appeared in the province of Brno. Uh oh, we better find out about that. That could be a problem. Alright, so they've become Fratticelli. So we need an emergency religiosity thing. Where is our shaman? I don't even know what the Fratticelli um, religion is. Diviner shaman? Go and teach them the ways of Tangri. Because these guys, look, that revolt risk went way up when these guys have turned to this new religion. So we're going to have our shaman go there. Get on the shaman horse and ride like the wind. May the wings of Tangri fly you there. I wonder if we should shake the retinue off and move it up north to fight one of these wars. We had another war end, too, because we had six wars coming into this episode, and now we are down to five. And Attila the Butt, oh, is he leaving finally? I'm surprised more of his troops haven't died. They will in the winter, probably, due to attrition, I would think. All right, uh, retinue, start heading north. We're going to have you go ahead after some rebels. Oh, or should we? No, we're going to wait. We're going to wait and see what happens with this Bulgarian civil war. Because I want this area right here. How is that war going on? We're looking at the King of Bulgaria defending against Momchil. That's in that area. The guy leading that area. In the Third Bulgarian War, it is 71% war score in favor of Momchil. So the Bulgarians are losing. So if anything, now is the time before the war is over to declare war on the Bulgarian rebels. We want this area right here so we can have all the stuff for the duchy here. So we're back up to six wars. Always fighting wars. <laughs> you know, actually what we might do is let's split this army. And then let's split this army. And then, yeah, we'll leave that army like that. 
We're going to send the majority of the army here, and then we're going to leave some of the retinue back home in uh, Sofia to ideally, hopefully, um, continue to build up so we can send them to the front too. So which war is this? Against this guy? He has no allies currently. That is important. His big group of troops is way in the Bulgarian east. We easily outnumber that. You can see the Bulgarians are trying to reclaim their territory. The striped areas mean that they are owned by Bulgaria, but they are occupied by the rebels here. And you can see because the rebel flag is in the middle of each of these icons. Uh, we will have these guys merge. My Emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Opol has converted to the Tengri faith. Your humble vassal, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Dan, the religious man? Um, where is Opol or Opole? I should know. We've seen it before. It's somewhere in the north. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah! Remember when all that was like Slavic or Catholic and divided? Tengri's getting popular. We do have to get rid of this Fredicelli thing, though. I don't know if that's an offshoot of Catholicism, a heresy from that, or what. Alright, let's get our troops in there. We're going to start laying siege to that. That's very important. We want that area. Add that to ours. In fact, you know what? We should put these guys right next door. So if need be, they're close to reinforce. And everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. The war's gone pretty well. We've taken Nicopolis. Expanding our personal holdings. Um, did I give away Bihar? I did. Am I holding anything else I shouldn't be? I don't think so. I don't know. We kind of have probably more territories than we need. Personal ones. We might give away another one. No, wait. Our stewardship went down because we became content. Maybe I'll stay at seven. I don't know. Either way, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Long goodbye. I hope to see you next time.